Hey, sneaking notes back today. Today we have a Debian based distro, Simplice 3.0 Beta 1. Yes, I didn't do the last two because I've done quite a few of them already over the past 19 months. They must be getting to 17, 19. They're two young guys from Italy, or I think there might be a third now. And they just do it on their own, and it's super duper. It's basically open box. Yes, just open box for your desktop environment. There's no special uh, software center, nothing silly like that. It's just basic Debian with open box the way they like it. And what we're going to do, we're going to go quickly go through it with you and show you some stuff. Installs okay for me, but you do have to manually partition your drive, okay? You do need a home, a root, and a swap. And just make sure it all goes okay from there. And yeah, it comes out like this, super duper. So as you can see, if I right click the mouse, here you see there is no install option because it's already installed. Which is super duper. Took around about eight to nine minutes, which is okay for me, super duper. So all you get is a terminal. Yeah, yeah, terminal, Let's open it up. There's a terminal, and it's there, a terminal. Lovely. Yes, you can close it down. You get your web browser, which in here is the, the Chromium. Okay. Which should come up. Five, four, three, two, and there it goes. Here we go. Now, of course, I can put some please in there, and we can have a look, can't we? If I can spell correctly, that was. There we go. And see what we come out with. No, 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 no. So I'm going to put on the end of that Linux just to make sure. And there we are. Yes, indeed. It's a nice big website. It's been totally redesigned since the last time I had a little look at it. They've got their own IRC channel if you're going to give them a little look. Remember, they're Italian, so give them a bit of chance with their English, okay? Yeah, but they're English. You can download it here. There's a stable version, and there's the one we're using now, which is the beta or pre release, or the one don't work too good. Okay, so it will go bang. I'm telling you now, it's gone bang once already for me. So yeah, that's it. But there's a 2.04 stable version, which is stable, so that's fine. I don't need to worry. Flash is not installed, by the way. Well, it wasn't for me, so there you go. There's the IRC chat, so that's IRC or X chat for me and you. But under applications, we have accessories. So bearing in mind it's open box, you just get the basics. Get your disk utility, your file manager, calculator, Guatemala, which I'll do in a minute. Mousepad for doing your mousepad stuff, it's a bit of a text editing, parcel light, the root terminal, screenshots to a quick screenshot, simply so backup, which I've not actually seen before, and X archiver. Okay. Under graphics, I've actually installed a GIMP just to make sure it works, and it's a GIMP 2.8. Now there's no software center here, it's all Synaptic Package Manager, so a lot of you will really like that. Or you can just use, you know, terminal even, can't you? So they are 2.8 GIMPage. All done, lovely. Okay, where was we? <clears throat> For standard on their graphics, you do get GNU Paint, which is a basic paint program, and you get Mirage. Internet, Chromium, as you've just seen, Claws Mail, FTP Client, Pigeon, you get an XChat, which you've just seen already. Under Office, all you get is Abbey Word and GNUmeric. I'm not sure what version of Abbey Word we're going to use, so that's a quick look. This is just a quick video, I'm not going to go too much into it, because it's just this is working on from the last version, so it's not changed too much, to be real with you. I think the first video I've done for it was in January 2011, so that's nearly 19 months coming up. But it is Abbey Word 2.9.2, so pretty reasonable, yeah. Okay, where was I? Under Office, yeah, we've done all that. GNUmeric's here, of course. You get XHEL for playing your XHEL stuff. G Gnome M player or Gnome M player. I call it Gnome personally. You get Volti for doing your sound and XF Burn for burning your DVDs and your CDs. Yeah. You get Rooks Terminal, your Task Manager, UX Term and X Term. So it's three there. So open the Task Manager up. You can see what's going down. As you can see, it's just 102 megabytes of RAM. I would normally expect it to use less than that. But hey, what do I know? But CPU usage is really, really low. So I can live with that. Right, next. Well, basically, we get underneath that, we get system tools. I've just shown you preferences. A flash player, so I will check that out. Obviously, these configuring a Bluetooth manager, Guac, as I said, my monitor settings, network connections, your panel tint, and your screen savers. Under administration is your internationalization, network printing, services, synaptic, time and date, and users and groups. Now, if you want to use Guatemala, all you do is press F12, and like magic, it comes up. Super duper. Press it again, it goes away. Press it, comes back. Press it again, it goes away. Lovely. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to places. As you can see, I'm here, it's my main folder, my desktop, my trash, and my computer. Oh, yeah, our system. 
get up to four desktops so you can go and choose whichever one you want to go and look at. And the extensions, just for music, is just for X how, okay? Appearance, you can just do your wallpaper settings. You can add your wallpapers and appearance settings here. There's a help section, some police website about some police. The wiki, wiki, wiki jungle is massive. So we can open it, see if, we'll see if it comes up for a start. Didn't know they had a wiki, actually. Oh, yes, a little bit of wiki there under the support section of their web page. So, yeah, so let's have a look. Click on our wiki and see what happens. No, no, that's just wiki, wiki, so we don't want that, do we? Go back. La 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 Ooh, in favour of GPT they're going to use. Okay, that's interesting. I might get into that later, have a quick look. But they're not going to use a standard MBR table. So that's interesting. Very, very interesting. And get it all down here for the installer. Mmm, nice. Okay, on the whole, it's actually got a lot better than the last one I used. <clears throat> the last beta anyway, which is quite a long while ago now. This was going on about nine months ago. I really like it. If you like open, open box and you want Debian, and you want nice and fast and simple, this is the distro for you. But apart from that, it's 92%. Sneaky Linux going out. I'll see you later. It's still sorty. Bye-bye.